In the Paint Pot app thus far, we can do several things. We can click on a red color and draw some dots. If we drag, we draw some lines. We can change the color. And of course, we can clear the screen. All right. So the next thing to do is to go to the designer window. We're going to add a couple new buttons. So first, go to the layout section and drag out a horizontal arrangement and put that at the bottom of the canvas. Um, first, we're going to change the width to be a fill parent on that horizontal arrangement and scroll down here and put that clear button inside there. Also, let's add a couple more buttons. That first button, let's rename that and call that the big dots button. We're going to use this to change the size of the dots that we can draw. And change the text to be big dots. The second button, rename that to be a small dots button. And similarly change the text to be small dots. OK, great. Then the next thing, we'll go back to the, the blocks window. We're going to introduce a variable. Now, a variable is something that you've probably seen in your math class before. It's basically just a placeholder for a value. So click on the variables drawer here, and we're going to initialize global name. We could change that name to be, let's say, call this dot size. Let's let initially let the dot size to be the value, say, 3. So another trick to speed up the coding process is instead of going to the math drawer here and pulling out a number, I can just click on the background, type the number 3, and press return and it automatically comes, to, comes, comes there. I can click it into, the, into place. Great. And then instead of using this 5 here, I'm going to call the dot size when we draw the circle when the drawing canvas is touched. So go back to the variables, and I can get and put that puzzle piece into place. And that drop-down menu, I want to you know, get the global dot size. Great. So now all my radiuses dot will be, according to that variable, the dot size, which is 3. Excellent. All right, so the next thing I want to do then is kind of coordinate variables with those buttons that I can press. So the big dot button, when the big dot button is clicked, I want to set the dot size to be a particular value. Similarly, when the small dot button is clicked, I can set that to be a particular value. Just to give us a little more practice with variables, let's create a few more variables here. I'll create a variable called um, big dot size, and let's set that be equal to 10. Also create a variable, call that small dot size, and let that, that variable to be equal to say 2. Great. So just to show you that I can, I can create several variables, name them whatever I want to. When the big dot button is pressed, let's change that dot size variable. So we'll set that dot size variable to be equal to the big dot size. Again, we'll do the get component here to be that big dot size. And similarly, when the small dots, small dots button is pressed, we'll set the dot size to be the small dot size. So we're using variables in a couple of different ways here. The big dot size and small dot size here is going to hold these values. The dot size variable is going to be called whenever I press the button, pre press the canvas, and I'll get an appropriate sized spot when it's drawn. Let's take a look at the, at the app. The finished Paint Pot app looks something like this. I can click on a color. I can click on big dots. And whenever I press, I get large dots. I can change that to small dots. And pressing gives me very small dots. I can change the color. I can still draw. Notice that my line is very, still, still very small. And of course, I can still clear the screen.
All right, great. One small bug in this process, in this, in this app thus far, maybe you've realized it, is that if you initially launch the app and don't press a color, the color is initially set to black. And the challenge that I have for you is can you figure out a way to solve that? I'm gonna give you a hint. If you go to the screen one block here, one of these apps here will allow you to help uh, set the initial, um, some initial code before the app is actually run. And this concludes the PaintPot app.